Greetings, cats and kittens. If this is your first time here, welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back to Libby's Lullabies. Today, I'm going to be reading The Day the Crayons Came Home by Drew DeWalt with illustrations by Oliver Jeffers. So I want you guys to sit back or lie down. Either way, enjoy this story. And if you enjoyed The Day the Crayons Quit, then you're going to enjoy this one as well. If you have not heard The Day the Crayons Quit, I suggest you do so. It was a lot of fun. One day, Duncans and his crayons were happily coloring together when a strange stack of postcards arrived in the mail. Hello from the rug. Dear Duncan, not sure if you remember me. My name is Maroon Crayon. You only colored with me once to draw a scab, but whatever. Anyway, you lost me two years ago on the couch. Then your dad sat on me and broke me in half. I never would have survived had Paperclip not nursed me back to health. I'm finally better, so come get me. And can Paperclip come too? He's really holding me together. Sincerely, your Maroon Crayon, Maroon Crayon. And this was delivered to Duncan's bedroom upstairs in the house. Mm. Dear Duncan, no one likes peas. No one even likes the color pea green. So I'm changing my name and running away to see the world. Sincerely, Esteban, the Magnificent the crayon formerly known as P. Green. Dear Duncan, it's me, Neon Red Crayon. Remember that great vacation we had with your family? Remember how we laughed when we drew a picture of your dad's sunburn? Remember dropping me by the hotel pool when you left? Clearly, you do not because I am still here. How could you not miss me? Anyway, after eight months waiting for you to come get me, I guess I'm walking back. Your left behind friend, Neon Red Crayon. Wow. Well, uh -oh. Duncan, it's us, yellow and orange. We know we used to argue over which of us was the color of the sun, but guess what? Neither one of us wants to be the color of the sun anymore. Not since we were left outside and the sun melted us together. You know the real color of the sun? Hot. That's what. We're sorry for arguing. You can make green the sun for all we care. Just bring us home. Your not so sunny friends, yellow and orange. <laughs> Dear Duncan, I'm not sure you don't recognize me after the horrors I've been through. I think I was a tan crayon or maybe burnt sienna. I don't know. I can't tell anymore. Have you ever been eaten by a dog and puked up on the living room rug? Because I have. I have been eaten by a dog and puked up on the rug, Duncan. And it's not pretty. Not pretty at all. I'm more carpet fuzz than crayon now. Can you please bring me back your undigestible friend, Tan, or possibly burnt sienna crayon? Dear Duncan, mm, could you please open the front door? I still need to see the world. Sincerely, Esteban, the Magnificent. Hey Duncan. Remember last Halloween, we told your little brother there was a ghost under the basement stairs. Then we drew the scary stuff on the wall. Yeah, sure was funny when he ran screaming, right? But it wasn't so funny when you forgot to take me out of the basement. Please come and get me. I'm kind of um, terribly, terribly horrified. Your scared friend, glow-in-the-dark crayon. And what's really neat, because he's actually glow in the dark. 
Dear Duncan, looks like I'm almost home. Been through China, Canada, and France, I think. Just crossing New Jersey by camel now. New Jersey has giant pyramids, right? See you soon, neon red crayon. P.S. Next stop, the North Pole. I think. Duncan, does page eight of Pirate Island ring a bell? Kind of a big payday for Captain Greenbeard there, don't you think? And no bronze or silver in the pile, huh? I told you to make me blunt if you colored each coin individually, but would you listen? No. I also told you those stupid crayon sharpeners never work. Did you listen to that? Also, no. Now I can't color anything at all. Your pointless friend, Gold Crayon. Dear Duncan, I've seen the world. It's rainy, I'm coming back. Esteban the Magnificent. Hi Duncan. You probably wonder why my head is stuck to your sock. A question I ask myself every day. Well, it's because last week you left me in your pocket and I ended up in the dryer. I landed on your sock, and now he's stuck to my head. Can you please come and get me? Also, why does everything you wear still smell, even after it's washed? Your stinky, stocky, stucky, on head buddy, turquoise crayon. P.S. Socks is hi. Tell him I said hi. Hi. Tell him I said hi. Hi. Dear Mr. Duncan, I know I'm not your crayon. I know I belong to your baby brother, but I can't take it anymore. I can't take it anymore. In the last week alone, he's bitten the top of my head, put me in the cat's nose, drawn on the wall, and tried to color garbage with me. The worst part is, he's a terrible artist. I can't tell what his drawings are. Donkeys? Monkeys? Donkey monkeys? Donkey monkeys? Picasso said every child is an artist, but I don't think he ever met your brother. Please rescue me, your desperate friend, Big Chunky Taco Crayon. Duncan, greetings from the Amazon rainforest, making great time, I think I'm almost home. Neon Red Crayon. Hello, Duncan, it's me. Brown crayon. You know exactly why I ran away, buddy. Everyone thinks I get all the great coloring jobs. Candy bars, puppies, ponies. Lucky me, right? But they don't know what else you used me for to color, do they? I didn't think so. The rest of that drawing was great. But did it really need that final brown scribble? I'll come back, but please, let's stick to candy bars, okay? Your very embarrassed friend, Brown Crayon. Bear Goes in the Woods by Duncan. It's fluffy. Wow. Well, Duncan was sad to learn of all the crayons he'd lost, forgotten, broken or neglected over the years. So he ran around gathering them up. But Duncan's crayons were all so damaged and differently shaped than they used to be that they no longer fit into the crayon box. So Duncan had an idea. He built a place where each crayon would always feel at home. There's no dogs down there, are there? Nope, no turkeys either. Oh, you flatter me, but it's not real chocolate. Let's have a party. This one is from my blue period, but it's not really blue, more lilac. And then in Cleveland, I got to hike to the Great Wall of China. Anybody ever lost any crayons? I used to lose crayons all the time. This was just as much fun as the day the crayons. The day the crayons quit. I had a lot of fun with that one too. I want you guys to enjoy the rest of your day or your evening, your week or your weekend.
and I will see you next time on Baby's Lullabies. Cheers. <laughs>